Have you ever been in a situation where your client comes up to you and says, yo, Nick, we need to come up with a music video for our artist. And you say, great, when do you guys shoot the music video? And they reply, what music video? And they hand you a thumbstick with the music on it and say, come up with a music video for us or else. Now, you might be thinking, hey, how the heck do I come up with a music video without any footage? Well, it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. First, we boot up After Effects and create a composition. I'll make this one 1920 by 1080 and have the frame rate set at 2997 frames per second. Cause why not? Let's grab our music track and have a listen. One thing you can learn about me, ain't nobody putting word like me. Can't drip, can't sauce like me. Ripping it up, I'm a major key. Banger. Now I create a new vector shape layer and drag it onto the timeline. And then let's put the effect audio spectrum onto the shape layer. Now, why do I use shape layers instead of solids? Because like solids are so 2023, my friend. Shape layers are where it's at. Plus, a solid creates a new object in the project bin and gets super annoying after a while having a zillion solids in your project bin. Okay, you still with me? Now, let's play back what we have on the timeline. Nothing happens. That's because we need to drag the music onto our timeline. Let's set the effect to reference the music layer. Now that looks a lot better. Now, before we go any further, let's pre-comp the music into its own composition. I'll tell you why, but that will spoil the surprise. Let's adjust some of these parameters so that the waveform looks a little nicer. I'll pull the start and end points out so they fill the edges of the screen. I'll adjust this slider to up the frequency bands and increase the maximum height. Perfecto. Now, a straight line is a little boring. Thankfully, there is a way we can vary the shape using mask. Select the shape layer and then select the pen tool. Make sure you have draw mask turned on, otherwise this won't work. Create a V shape. Once you've made your path, you go up to the effect and select the path you want the waveform to wrap around. How neat is that? Best of all, you can pretty much pick any shape you can draw with your pen tool. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit more interesting. I wanna make the bar zoom at us like we're in some sort of waveform tunnel. I pre comp the waveform I just created and call it waveform tunnel wall pre comp because as Ben Marriott says, we always label our layers. Now let's rotate the wall element we just created 90 degrees and let's set some keyframe positions. I'm going to turn on the 3D for this layer and push it all the way in the back. I then set a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch. Then I'll move forward about two seconds and then using the Z coordinate or the Z coordinate for you Americans out there, I'm going to zoom up the element so it goes past us. Nice. Now, if you look at the element, it's popping out of nowhere. So I'm going to put a few keyframes at the beginning to fade the element in almost like it's fading out of the dark. Sweet. To make it seem like it's infinitely coming towards us, I'm going to press U to bring up all the keyframes, and then I'm going to add an additional keyframe for the opacity at the end of our group of keyframes, and then add an expression to both our position and opacity. Alt Option click on the stopwatch and type loop out with a lowercase and uppercase O. Open bracket, close bracket. Now let's copy the expression and paste it onto the opacity as well. Now, if you play it back, these keyframes will loop forever. And one last trick to give us a little bit of symmetry, I'm going to drag on the mirror effect onto the adjustment layer. And then set the origin point to dead center of the composition. And finally, let's select the adjustment layer and the waveform layer and pre-comp it so it's in its own element. Now, it's good and well you create this wonderful music video for your client, but what happens when they come in and want a lyric video as well? Well, fear not, we have this awesome product called the Lyric Video Creator Kit for Premiere that will help you crush your lyric video super fast. 60 animated presets, tons of customizable effects, the 4K Neon Pack, the Thick Marker Pack, all ready to use inside of Adobe Premiere, no After Effects skills necessary plus $119 worth of bonus assets. We've been working tirelessly to improve this kit to make sure you have the most fun building your Lyric video. So what are you waiting for? Grab the Lyric Video Creator Kit today and get started. All right, we're gonna create the center element. And again, this is all driven by the audio, which is super cool. We'll turn off the zooming element for now. We'll create a new shape layer by selecting the rectangle tool and double clicking it. 
it'll create a rectangle of the exact size of the current composition. Let's drag on the effect audio waveform. This one's a little different as it looks at the volume of the audio rather than the frequency spectrum of the audio. Let's go with the shape this time right off the bat. We'll select the shape tool and hold down until we come to the polygon tool. But before we even draw the shape, we have to make sure we select the tools create mask. And then we'll start drawing the pentagon shape. If you hold down the shift key, you can create a perfectly proportioned hexagon. If you aren't getting a hexagon shape, let go of the shift key and press the up and down arrows until you get the shape with the amount of size that you want. Then re-hold the shift key and drag the shape in place. Okay, let's go to the effect panel and select the path we want the effect to follow. Let's make it reference our music comp. We'll play around with the parameters. I'm gonna change the display options to digital. Then I'll up the displayed samples to give it a little bit more resolution. And of course, we'll up the maximum height for hype. Okay, now we're cooking. We're gonna put a little fun rotation on this as well. Let's jump to rotation and put an expression. Don't worry, this is a very easy formula. Alt option click on the stopwatch of the rotation and type time asterisk 30. And look at that, it's spitting by itself. Now, in case you're wondering what I did, I made After Effects assign itself a value to make it look at the time on the current timeline and then multiply that number by 30. So as long as the time is moving, the object will continue to move. Now I'm gonna make it symmetrical. I'm going to use the same trick from the last element and put a mirror adjustment on it. We can just grab the adjustment layer from the other waveform and use it here as well. And bam, we have our center element. And now I'm just gonna combine the adjustment layer with the mirror effect on it and the new element we just created into a new pre-comp. All right, let's throw both these elements together. And they look pretty good, but let's add a little color. I'm going to create a four color gradient using the shape tool. If we select the rectangle tool, we can click on the fill option and we get to the linear gradient. Select OK. From here, we can work on the color gradient. I'm going to select the three colors. You can do this by clicking in between the gradient layers and adding more points. This color scheme looks pretty sharp. Let's go with that. Double click the rectangle tool to add it to the composition. Finally, let's adjust the gradient points to stretch out the gradient. We'll set the mat to one of the waveforms and voila, we have some awesome color. We'll duplicate the gradient layer, make it a radial gradient. Now let's set the shape to no mat so we can actually see what we're doing. Muck around with some of the colors and set the mat to the other waveform. And hey presto, we have another layer. Now let's add some circle shapes in different colors. Add a fast blur to all of them, dial up the blur, and then muck around with the opacity till we get something that we like. And I'm going to add two plugins that don't come with After Effects, but it's super dope. The first is Deep Glow, which is just an awesome glow plugin. And you know, you basically get some amazing results without having to do very much, but you can substitute this with a regular glow, but Deep Glow is a lot nicer. It is a paid plugin, but you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. And finally, Quick Chromatic Aberration is a free plugin you can also get. Uh, I'm just dialing these so that it just gives me a little bit of shift, uh, color shift in the edges. And also I didn't like the shape of the zooming waveform. So I went back and made it more of a diamond shape. I also duplicated it and offset it a few frames to just give me a little bit more animation. But something is missing. I still don't feel like this is hype enough. Let's make the center element bounce according to the music. Right click on the music element and select keyframe assistant, then convert audio to keyframe. Then on the newly created layer, select the left and right channels and then delete them. Let's open up the scale parameters on the center element and link it all to the audio keyframes. Now the center element basically shrinks down to almost zero. This is because the values of the waveform go from around zero to around 40 or 50 in this case. So basically the element is going down to 0% to like around 40, 50, which is kind of not good. So we're gonna tweak our expression a little bit to make it work properly. We'll just add a 100 to the end of our first line and that should fix our issue. Yeah, yeah. One thing you gonna learn about me Ain't nobody putting word like me Can't drip, can't sauce like me Whipping it up, I'm a major key I am the one at the two or the three Get on my level if you wanna be Better than never, I got what I need Pushing the limit, that's how it's gonna be Now this is feeling hype Best of all, if you want to do this again All you need to do is grab a different track And replace it and you have another visual for your song the only downside is you'll need to delete the audio amplitude keyframes and then redo them again. But the expression should all stay the same. And if you're looking for a way to make a lyric video, check out this video for yours truly, where I show you how to do that right here.